With the explosive eruptions and the glowing red lava, volcanoes can be a stunning sight. But how does it actually work? Let's take a closer look at this burning hot natural phenomenon, volcanic eruptions easily explained. A volcano can be described as an opening or a rupture in the Earth's surface where molten rock, also called magma, volcanic ash and gases escape. Magma is formed when the rock beneath the surface of the Earth melts and slowly turns into a thick flowing substance. To better understand this, let's take a look at the layers of the Earth. Between the crust and the Earth's core is a layer called mantle. Compared to the crust, the pressure in this layer is increased significantly, leading to temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Celsius. This is enough to change the viscosity of the rock. The now formed magma behaves more like a liquid. This viscous molten rock is collecting in vast chambers beneath the crust. And because the magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, it will rise up through vents and cracks in the Earth's crust and eventually break through the surface leading to a volcanic eruption. Erupted magma is then called lava. Usually this happens where the tectonic plates of the Earths come together, drift apart or slide along each other, but there are also volcanic hotspots in the middle of the plates. The nature and intensity of the eruption depends on the composition and density of the magma. If the magma is low in density and therefore thin and runny, the build-up gases can escape easily. When those type of volcanoes erupt, the lava usually flows easily out of the volcano. Good examples for that are the volcanoes in Hawaii. If the magma on the other hand is very thick, dense and sticky, gases cannot escape as easy and pressure builds up until the gases escape with more force, leading to a more violent exploding volcanic eruption. Magma, ash and gases blast up in the air, break up into pieces called tephra. They can be as small as little ash particles and as big as house-sized boulders. A good example for that is the eruption of a submarine volcano in the island state Tonga in mid-January of this year. Ash particles were blown up to 30 kilometers in the air. The explosion and shock wave was so strong that it broke apart parts of the volcanic island and even led to tsunamis. To sum it up at the end here, a volcanic eruption is basically driven by a lot of heat and pressure in the Earth's mantle or by tectonic plate movement. It either leads to flowing out of thin lava or to explosive eruption with denser lava. Nonetheless, despite the fascinating sight, volcanoes can obviously be very dangerous for living beings around and in worst case can lead to bigger catastrophes. If you are interested in that, we can talk about it in another video. Let me know in the comments below. On the way down there, it would be highly appreciated if you could click on the like symbol to show us and YouTube that you enjoyed the content. You might want to consider subscribing as well for more easily explained videos and everything nature and wildlife. But most most importantly, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.